Clean as connect. Look where I'm at. Back in the office, baby. <laughs> What's up, guys? Happy Saturday, man. It don't even feel like a Saturday. That's one thing about coming on vacation. It just throws the days off. But it is Saturday, guys. Happy Saturday. I am. Um, I have a very long, productive day. Scobie is off on the weekend. So I am going out to do three consultations. And also, I have a screen of recoat um, that I'll be doing um, uh, today uh, in Cummings. Uh, nice size. Uh, it's about 1,100 square feet. Um, and then uh, tomorrow I got an interview uh, with Damon Williams um, getting ready for this show in Vegas next year. Um, got some other things I'm doing. Uh, Zoom. I'm going to be doing a new Zoom class, guys, for YouTube. I'm going to um, um, reach out to Miles Mays and also Mark Sager. I want to uh, show you guys how to use YouTube to your advantage, okay, how you can prosper from YouTube, not just trying to make a check from YouTube, but how me, how I still make a lot of money from YouTube. YouTube, guys, this is one of the most powerful weapons you can use uh, for your business. And I'm going to be doing a Zoom class next month. So you guys will hear about that next week once I get the details put together. So anyway, guys, I want to do a message today, man. Um, you know, reading some of these comments, you know, you know, scrolling through some of the groups. And, you know, we're always having this debate, you know, high end, low end, you know, cheap prices, high prices, blah, blah, blah. Now, guys, one thing that a lot of you guys can say about me is I've been on both sides of the field, okay? And again, just from my opinion and what I have done, I love being on the field of the clients that pay more money, okay? For some reason, guys, it's like the people who pay more, you 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 uh you deal with less stress. It, it just it just amazes me how a cl your clients can make your business so much either a fucking headache or just a heaven okay and it's and again from my experience the cheap clients the ones that don't like to pay the ones that's always looking for a discount the ones with the dirtiest floors the dirtiest carpets like those are the ones that usually should be paying more when you look at it because it requires more to clean and restore their floors uh but for some reason this industry has done it backwards you know we, we we charge clients less to clean the dirtiest fucking floors but for the people that don't have the dirtiest floors they pay more and they are the best plan uh i think that's my consultation hold on guys now nah, i'll wait but anyway um so this is, i just I, I when i start converting over to the higher paying clients i'm like man these people pay more they tip they 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 refer you cheap people they only refer you if you give them something hey courtney i refer you to my friend if you give me something you know and it's usually some money um so anyway the reason why a lot of you guys would never work for the ba the better paying clients and guys i don't care how you want to flip it this is the truth the reason why a lot of you guys would never work for the better paying clients is because you have you want you're not making time for the better paying clients first of all again guys like i always say it's science to it it's not just a flip of a switch okay you have to restructure you have to uh, uh you have to um uh, restructure your business model um it's a lot that goes into it but if you think about this if if you want to have so much time in a day right if you're always catering to the people that are not the most profitable clients okay and I'm not saying that you can't make profit, okay, um, off lower paying clients. I'm just saying for me, I believe and what I like to run my business, I want to make as much profit in, in <laughs> as much as possible, okay? Um, especially in the least amount of time. So if you're always working for people who, who, who are not, you know, giving you a lot of profit, well, when do you make time? When do you have time to restructure? When do you even have time to, to, to work for these type of clients that could possibly pay you more money? And this is why I say this. Until you are like you get to a point where you like enough is enough. I'm done. That's the, that, that, that's the only way, guys, you're going to follow through. That's why I always say peace be still. Sometimes. You have to just be still. 
But the reason why, because a lot of us are always just running, 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 running. You know, I got to go do this job. I got to go do this job. Okay, I got five jobs today. I got seven jobs today. I got ten jobs today. I got... You're always running. You're always working when you don't have time for anything else. Because when you get home, you're going to get on the couch. You're going to take a shower and you're done for the day. Okay, and then you get up the next day and you repeat the same thing. Every day, guys, it becomes a repeated cycle and it becomes a habit, okay? Now, again, this is not for everybody, but for those who really, really want to get to a point where you can work for better paying clients, okay? And it got, and see, this is my thing. It's not even about just working for better paying clients. It's about working less and making more. I, I, I'm just telling you, I used to be just like some of you guys, like... Like when I used to see guys say, oh, I did two jobs today, I made $1,000. I did one job today, I made $700. I'm like, what? Like, I used to really believe these guys were lying. And then, after again, years of struggle, frustration, confusion, got tired of being broke, got tired of every time I go on, go on a little vacation just up the road, okay? To, I'm looking at my bank account every damn three hours, make sure I don't overspend, okay? That's not a good feeling to be in. That's not a good feeling to be in, guys. <clears throat> so I said, you know what? Enough is enough. Okay, this was probably about nine years ago. Nine, yeah, about 19 years ago. Enough is enough. Courtney, it's time to make change because the reason why, the life that I want to live, okay, the things that I want to be able to do, okay, and some of the things that I'm doing now, I could have not done that 10 years ago. So I had to restructure this is one of the hardest decisions. I understand, guys. Listen, I understand because I've been there. Just like a lot of us come from the same background. I don't care if you're black, white, whatever. Most of us come from the same. We start from the bottom. But it must get to a point. If you really want to change, you're going to have to change, guys. And it's not going to come easy. But I will tell you, the journey is so worth it. Looking back now... Of all, the, the, that that one decision that I made, looking back now, it's like Courtney, man, thank thank myself for making that decision because if I just would have kept repeating that same cycle, oh I got five jobs today, go do these five jobs, go home because I'm dead tired, get some rest, next day repeat, go do these four or five jobs, next day repeat. You just get caught up in this repeated cycle. And sometimes it's hard. It's hard to get out of it because I see it all the time. I've been in this, I've been in the cleaning industry, carpet cleaning industry, guys, since the age of 19. I have heard it all. I have seen it all. And I have seen so many guys have dug themselves so deep. I never forget when I was at the customer uh, appreciation day at TCS, pop six, seven years ago. And that's when I started making a name for myself on YouTube. And I never forget this guy came and I can just see, I can see the pain, you know, in his, in, in, you know, I can just see, I can feel it. And he said, Courtney, man, I be listening, bro. I be listening. But man, Courtney, I've been doing this for over 20 years, man. And man, I, I, I hear what you're saying about stop working for the cheap clients. But he like, Courtney, I've been doing this shit for 20 years. And unfortunately, bro, I can't start over. I mean, he was dead for real. Like, he really believed that he had created this this business model that he could not start over. Now, unfortunately, he could. But again, when that's your only source of income, that's the only way you know how to make money. That's the only way you know how to pay your bills. Yes, guys, that can be a hard decision. And this is why I'm trying to catch so many, especially the new cleaners, from going down this same path because there's a lot of cleaners that will tell you that have that have got caught up in that 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 cycle and they will tell you man it's not a good feeling unless the only way I tell people because what happened is this, they say well Courtney how do you guys get caught up in this business model the reason why especially in the Atlanta market a lot of us work for companies that operated that way. They operated the whole house $99 special, the $20 a room. What we didn't understand at the time is that that business model 
is not a good practice for a owner operator or small business. Okay, even if you three, four, five trucks, that is not that is a good business model for someone who has ten plus trucks. Okay, because these companies will tell you that only about maybe two or three of them trucks really making some money. Everybody else is just just you know they whatever they send them out with, that's what they're probably coming back with. All right. So what we think is, oh, this company making all this money, this company making all this money. Well, we say, oh, we can do the same thing. And then what a lot of us do, you know, being ignorant at the time, well, they charging $20 a room and they sending out 10 trucks. Well, I charge 15 a room. So then we get caught up in that, 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 that price, uh, war. Okay. And it's just a, and again, guys, it's just a race to the bottom. So that's why I say this is why a lot of us would never, uh, I ain't gonna say never. I never say never. But this is why a lot of you guys uh, have a hard time, okay, getting to the better paying clients because you're so consumed and you're so busy working for the least paying clients or the most least profitable clients, okay, that you just don't have time. Okay, because again, it takes time. It takes rebuilding. You have to, you know, you have to first work on yourself. Mentally, you have to work on yourself. Okay, you got to work on your business. You got to, you got to, you know, I tell people sometimes it's not always about adding. It's sometimes it's, it's about subtracting. Okay, I don't need this in my business. I don't need this in my business. Okay, I need to eliminate this out of my business. Okay, you'll be surprised. You'll be surprised some of the things that see we think we have to keep compounding. We have to keep adding. No, sometimes we need to subtract. And sometimes you can subtract two things out of your life, out of your business that can that can take your business 10 steps ahead. All right. And that's what it's about, guys. So, um, you like I said, man, just just really just um, wanted to reach out and let someone hear. You know, who might be sitting back thinking, oh, man, I see Courtney. I see these guys going out making this good money. How are they doing it? How did they do it? And, guys, this is how a lot of us did it. Ask Chad Mays. He used to be the same way. Out cleaning carpets, $89, five rooms. Now, shit, they picking up rugs. They, 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 <laughs> lady dropped the rug off last week. Um, cause anytime a lady, they, you know, people in this area, Chad would tell them they can drop it off at my shop and then Miles, they'll come pick it up on Friday. They just came and picked up a rug that a lady drove from Decatur, Georgia, dropped it off at my shop. Okay. They picked it up and I said, how much that rug, uh, cost to clean that rug? $1,600, $1,600 to clean a rug. Okay. And that's all they do. All they do is pick up and clean rugs at high profitable prices. And this, but again, that, that other business model that Chad was doing five, 10 years ago, they don't do that no more. That's why I say you have to subtract. And, and you know, and I hear guys say, oh, well, what I do, I'll, I'll just work for the high end and the low end client. God, that is the dumbest shit I have ever heard. And that what that tells me, you don't even understand. You think I'm going to go do a job for a thousand dollars and then turn around and go do a job for a hundred dollars. It don't even make sense. OK, that tells me that somebody they don't even understand what they're doing. They, again, you're just chasing money. You're just trying to make money in any type of way you can. Okay. Uh, I want all the money. What does that mean? I, I don't understand that. I want all the money. Okay. So you're going to get on the roof and clean gutters. Okay. <laughs> you're going to go pick up dog shit out of a backyard. I mean, I have, there's a, there's companies that do that. Okay. Every, you're going to paint a house. I want all the money. I don't leave, you know, I don't leave no money on the table. Guys, that is, to me, that's, 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 um, me and Chandler was having that kind of, that, that's, that's like a, um, a person who just, who just want to do anything just to get by anything to make some money. I don't, I don't leave no money on the table. Like, so you do everything you, you, so whatever the customer asks you to do, you're going to do it. Okay. <laughs> Cause you don't leave no money on the table. You don't even know how to do everything. So you, you replace floors, you clean floors. Okay. You, you're a moving company. You clean gutters. You cut grass. You wash cars. Okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You're a maid service. You walk the dogs. You don't leave no money on the table. Guys, again, that's, that, that, that is the type of talk of somebody who really does not have any real direction. That's what they did. That's what you're a janitorial service. Okay. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you see, you, that's the, that's the mindset a lot of us need to get out of because again it 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 only 
it doesn't lead you anywhere. The only where it leads you is just, again, just chasing money. That's It's that simple. You're just chasing money, all right? And I used to be the same way. That's why I say, guys, one thing about it, a lot of stuff that people say, I have done it. When I first started my business, we used to, we used to sell carpet. Me and my wife in my F-150 used to be up and down, 75 North, going to Dalton, picking up carpet. I We used to clean houses. We used to paint, okay? We used to clean carpets. I did junk removal. Now look at me. I do one service, wood floor maintenance, okay? And even before wood floor maintenance, carpet cleaning. Once I honed in and I focused on what I really needed to do, that's when everything got better, all right? So so, so that's another thing, guys. Just because you do a lot of services or you have people say, oh, I got a bunch of companies. I own five companies. Guys, I mean, okay, anybody can start five companies. I can go on my computer right now and probably within an hour have five LLCs just to say I got five companies. But again, if those five companies are not making profit, what's the point? Besides bragging rights, just to say I got five companies, because I see it all the time. You see it on TV. These companies, people have all these companies, but they ain't making no money. You can have one company that can make more money than somebody with 10 companies. I mean, look at all these companies that struggle every single day just looking for investors and looking for people to help them. They got all of these companies, okay, but the companies ain't making no money. And again, you as a person can only do so much in a day. And this is why focusing, focusing is so important and it's so valuable i heard tyler perry say this long time i'm gonna leave you with this guys go go find that video on youtube and i remember i heard tyler perry saying this is one of the this is one of the messages that helped me change my life and this is probably 10 this video is probably over 10 years ago and um and if you guys don't know who tyler perry is he is the he is the the, the example of of excellence okay tyler perry said i remember I have friends and every time I would talk to them, every time, you know, we would have a conversation, one minute they was doing this and the next minute they was doing this and the next minute they was doing this. And every time he turned around, they was always trying to start a new business or do something different. Tyler Perry said, plant that one seed. And, I, and, I, and I'm listening to what I'm saying. Plant that one seed and water that seed. And he said, this is how he became successful. He focused on one thing and that one thing branched off. He watered and planted that one seed and that other, when that seed grew, that's when other opportunities came. And guys, I, me, I am a living example. You guys see it every day. The teaching, the coaching, the wood floor maintenance, all this happened because I planted one seed. When I hit my rock bottom moment, when I stopped chasing, and I focus, and I focus on one thing. Courtney, let's just focus on getting your business to a point where it can just be profitable and you can enjoy it. That's when everything, as I planted that one seed and that as that grew, that's when everything else started out branching. The teaching, the coaching, the YouTube, Cleaners Connect, you know what I'm saying? Wood floor maintenance, because I just focused. And that's what a lot of us don't do. We are not, we're not honed in. Okay. Like I said, you can either be a rocket missile, that, 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 that rocket missile that, that chases its target when it homes in, it, it, it chases its target, or you can be that person with a damn machine, a damn machine gun that's trying to hit anything that you can hit. So that's it, guys. So I just want to just put that out there, man, on this Saturday morning. <clears throat> um, and again, just, just just hopefully it can help somebody. I know it will because I'm always getting, you know, um, good positive feedback. So anyway, guys, uh, I can't see. I don't know why when I go live, I can't see any comments. So if anybody's watching, I do see some people watching. Good morning. Have a happy, great, prosperous Saturday. It is raining in Georgia. I don't know how long it's going to be raining. Uh, but anyway, guys, today, uh, good, great long day. So I'm about to start my day. Uh, i got three consultations, screen to recode. And um Again, hopefully this video can help somebody. All right, guys. Also, stay on the lookout. I'll probably be not announcing it next week. I'm going to be doing uh, hosting a uh, Zoom, uh, uh, not wood floor, um, 
that, that what for the Zoom classes was amazing. But uh, YouTube, uh, showing you guys the ins and outs, okay, uh, of how to use YouTube. The most, one, I, I would say YouTube is probably the most powerful platform that you can use for your business. And um, it's going to be a low cost, um, you know, entry, but it's going to just show you guys how to use YouTube to your advantage and how it can just take your business to a whole nother level. All right. So anyway, guys, um, have a great Saturday. See you in the next one.